How's it going guys? Today I have a quick video here for you and this is actually on my LG G2. This is the AT&T variant but this should work on pretty much all LG G2s and we're going to show you guys how to root your device. So to do this, let's just kind of look through this all carefully. We're going to go into uh, settings, general, we're going to go down here to about and to software and there you go. So right now I'm on a software version of D820C, which is Android 4.4.2. This is the uh, newest firmware for this device at this time. Uh, so that's what you're gonna be on. When you're in the screen, go ahead and tap on build number about 10 times. This is gonna enable developer options, which you'll now see right here, developer options. So we're going to go ahead and go into developer options and you're going to make sure that it is on um, right here. So you got developer options, you turn them on and then you enable USB mode. You can go back out of that and right here turn on USB mode. Let me go ahead and turn that on. There we go. You might have to unplug to do that. We'll go ahead and plug back in and there is going to be some different drivers that install when you have USB mode on along with that you get this pop up right here you can see and go ahead and make sure it's on media alright so that's going to install some uh, drivers on your computer when you turn on that USB debugging mode um, you might also get a pop up on your screen that's going to ask you for access go ahead and check always and hit OK and once you do that you should be set up to run this root tool on our computer. So let's shoot to the computer and let me show you this process. Alright guys, here we are. This is going to be pretty simple. You're just going to go to this thread on XDA. This is called IO root. And here you can see all the devices that it does support, which is really awesome. Basically any LG G2, this will root that device. So gotta love it, gotta love it. Alright, so go ahead right here, click this, download the IO root zip. I've already got mine downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have working with right here. Here is the zip. I've extracted it, and it's actually right here. So we're going to open that up, and from here it's very, very, very simple. You can see the device is just on, just like it is. We have that USB debugging turned on and all that. We're just going to click the I.O. root bat, or, and this is for Windows. Now if you have uh, Linux right here, or if you have, um, no, not tools, it would just be Linux or Mac you'd run that one but we have windows so we're gonna run this and you just open it up you probably aren't gonna see all this stuff it's just the way I've got my computer set up basically talks about it and make sure USB uh, is enabled developer options and all that you can see all that is on the device and we're gonna hit any key to continue I'm just gonna use spacebar right here now if your drivers and ADB debugging is set up correctly all that will go through just like it did now you can actually see the device because we are on Android 4.4.2 and above it's going to go into your recovery mode. Alright, so from here it's very very simple. On your device just scroll down up here until you see ADB um, update, apply update from ADB. This is stock recovery so one, two, three and then hit your power button. You're scrolling with your volume down then you hit your power button. All right, and if all goes well, it's going to install from here. All you got to do is come back over to the command window and press any key to continue. So there we go. We did that, and you can see some stuff going on down there at the bottom. Ah, what have we here? Looks like it says dat root. Very, very, very cool. And shabam. On the script on the computer, press any key to continue, and it closes it, and then on the device, just it should be highlighted, reboot system now on the top, and just go ahead and hit power, and it will reboot system. That is the root process here on the LG G2 on KitKat. Very, very simple and easy to do. You are done on the computer. Here we go, first uh, boot up here after rooting. Now, from here, once this device fully boots up, we want to test root access. So to do that, just go ahead, unlock your device. See, I don't have a SIM in this thing right now. And we're gonna go over in here to 
I've actually already installed this. It's called Root Checker. And we're going to verify that we have root access. You can close that back down. So we're going to click on this right here. And then verify root access. And shabam, congratulations, your device has root access. That's what it says up there in green. Now, I would highly, highly recommend that you guys go ahead and you go to the Play Store because right now you have root access and anything has root access. You want an application to manage this root access. So I would come in here and I would type in super su right there. And that's going to allow you to install super su. At least that's what I call it. Or super su, whatever. And this is by Chainfire, and now you have an application that's going to manage that root access for you. So we're going to make sure it's working correctly. Update the binaries. Go ahead and hit continue. Also say normal way. And just wait for a quick second while the binaries update. There you go. It does say to reboot now. You can do it now or later. I'm just going to say OK. No thanks. And boom. We have a fully functional root access. Now we can use root checker and again, but this time you'll see a difference here because uh, it didn't do it. Hang on. Well, I really wanted to show you guys BusyBox there, but it's being kind of fickle, so it's not actually showing me the toast for asking for root access when I hit the verify root on the device. Probably need to like refresh the app or close it and reopen it. So instead, we're going to use BusyBox right here and just show you that you're going to get that pop-up notification. There it is from super user or super sue, I should say, and you're going to grant it. Now you have something actually managing uh, your root access on your device. Go ahead and install this too if you want. This is called BusyBox. Most, uh, a lot of applications use it, so it's really important to have it on your device once you have root access. And shabam. You got BusyBox, again from the Play Store, Super Sue, Root Checker, it's all good. Your device is fully rooted at this point. Congratulations, LG G2 Root Access on KitKat. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more like it, more coverage on this device, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.